Hey, it's Steve Harris from Muse Themes. I just wanted to do a very quick tutorial here on how to recolor some of these elements and images that we've now included in our new library files. You're seeing lots of Muse users on the web recolor elements directly within a Muse site without having to go into Photoshop or Illustrator. And there's a real kind of sneaky trick to do this. Most people are suggesting that what you do is just change the swatch color. For example, on our arrow kit that we've provided to our members, uh, you can just go up to the swatches panel and click on the swatch options for the swatch called Modern Arrows. And if you just change the color and click OK, they all change. But if, what if you wanted to change one at a time? The way to do this is actually through an inner glow. Probably not what you expected. So if you click on an element, go up to the effects drop down, and you can see that there's a glow turned on. It's set to inner glow. The opacity is set at 100, which means it's solid, and the blur is set quite high at 100. The bigger the element, the bigger the blur, because you really don't want any blur. You want the element to completely color itself. So now if I change the color on just this one, say to blue, you can see that that one element actually changes color. That's how people are able to change these icons directly within their sites. When you're building icons that you want to be able to recolor, you just need to make sure that you're importing transparent PNGs. There can't be any background information or data in that image or else that's just going to appear as a solid fill as well. So remember, transparent PNGs, set the inner glow and just make sure that the opacity is set high and the blur is set high so that it completely recolors it. That's it. Nice and easy. Hope you've enjoyed this. Cheers.